Good morning, guys. Do I have a story for you? On my way to work, trying not to run into my garbage can. Hold on. Because it is snowing out. It's not bad. Like the main roads aren't even covered yet, but I figured I'd go early and then don't have to worry about the roads being slippery or whatever. So anyway, so get this is what happened to me this morning. So every day I, or not every day, when it's really cold out or my car is like frosty, um, snow covered or whatever, I go out 15 minutes before I have to leave, like to take Alexis to school, and I start my car so that it warms up and thaws out and all that stuff. So yesterday, it hasn't been that cold, but yesterday Alexis complained that I did not warm the car up for her. So this morning I went out, the same time as I usually do, started the car to go take her to school. Today's also garbage day, so I had to go out and get the, excuse me, to bring out all the garbage. And so I was gathering up all the garbage, getting Alexis ready, and uh, I went to take a couple bags of garbage out to the side of the road. I opened the door, and my car's not there. I was like, what the hell? And I looked, and my car is now parked on the opposite side of the road, like one house down, pretty much, just sitting there. And I was like, who the f moved my car, okay? So my first initial thought is that my neighbor, a friend of ours that lives directly across the street from us, moved it like as a prank. So I text him and I'm like, well, what you doing? And he was I watching TV and doing laundry. Like, did you move my car? And he goes, how would I move your car? So he's saying that he did not move my car, that he was not outside at all this morning. I still don't know. I think by now he would have said, because he's not like a prankster type of person. And so I think he would have said by now if he had to move my car. So who the hell moved my car? Okay, Paul was asleep. There's nobody else around. Who moved my car? Paul thinks that the kids moved my car because all the high school kids are also walking past and going to the bus stop, which is just up the road from us. I don't know. That's a pretty ballsy freaking move to me to get in somebody's car and move it. Because if I'd have caught you, then you're going to be charged with theft. Because why else would you be moving in my car, right? So, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated if Greg... Um, decides to tell me later on today that he did in fact move my car to freak me out. Which I kind of hope that's what happened. Because I hate to think that a kid get in my car and try to drive it. Hmm. We shall see. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. Um, and now, like I can lock my car. I can start my car and then lock it. Um, and I have the ability to unlock it, obviously. So I'm going to do that from now on. Just in case it was the kids. Because I ain't having that. So anyway, that's my little what that happened this morning. And yeah. So let me know if anything like that's happened to you guys. And I'll keep you posted if I find out who actually did it. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.